do you find these three days off, like from after dropping three in a row, are valuable to you guys? Yeah, definitely. Whenever you're losing games, um, it's important that you have some practice time. Not a lot of practice time in the NBA, obviously, with the scheduling and then, you know, working on things, trying to improve some deficiencies, trying to get better at some things that you're already good at. And it gives coaches some time to have that creative freedom to where we can get up and down a little bit and run and, and do some stuff you wouldn't normally do because you got back to backs or four and six nights. And I think we play but every Saturday this month or something like that. So not going to be a lot of time for practice after these few days. What were some of the stuff you did that you don't normally do today? Uh, we got into some four on four. We haven't played four on four on four in a little while. So we did some of that. Um, some two on two, you know, defending, defending ball screens, defending uh, different actions in two on two. Uh, we got some shooting in the beginning of practice. Did you get a sense of where Nurk's at? I haven't seen him besides in the training room and riding the bike, but um, uh, I would imagine that uh, he's progressing well. I imagine there's probably some swelling, and they haven't probably haven't given a timetable. I have, they haven't told me anything. Regarding your, uh, we kind of talked about this last time, but again, you didn't have a great shooting night. Have you seen anything or feeling anything? Or no, nah, I mean. I think I went, what, 16, something like that. So I had some good looks. Um, I just got to continue to be aggressive, take advantage of, you know, different opportunities throughout the flow of the game, and uh, try to get to the free throw line a little bit. What are you guys talking about to sort of get the offense back on track? Um, just concepts of the, of the play calling, flow, flows of the play calling, and then trying to get the ball to the second side of the floor. I think that's, that's been helpful for us throughout the season. I think we're a lot more efficient. I think the field goal percentages go up when you, you know, but move both sides of the floor. Game seemed to think it was a pretty good time to see the Rockets. You uh, you agree? Oh, yeah, I mean, why not? Um, <laughs> you look at how we've played these last few games. I think historically we've played well against the Rockets. It's, it's going to be a, a fast-paced game. A lot of they're going to shoot a lot of three-pointers. Um, looking forward to the challenge. They're a good team. CJ, what have you thought about? Uh, yeah. Terry's kind of mixing up with the lineups and rotations so far this season after really being kind of regimented about it. Yeah. Um, we've had some injuries, so uh, that's allowed us to, to change a few things. Um, obviously, when, when Nurk hurt, I don't know how long he's going to be out or if he's going to be out at all. That'll change the lineup again a little bit. So um, we just got to be ready to play with anybody. I think that's the biggest thing. Be ready to play, and it's, it's going to be you know, probably different guys, different nights, and, and guys have to be ready to step up. Although. It's a difficult position to be in when you don't, when you're not sure when you're going to play or not, or how much you're going to play. Uh, it's about being a professional and accepting roles and, and, and doing your job. How would you describe the mood of the team right now? Is it business as usual, or do you sense? Yeah, I mean, we had a few, we had a day off, so um, I would say it's pretty much business as usual. Guys come and get their work in, get their shots up, get their lift in, treatment, and then uh, go on about their day. CJ, there's been kind of a Perception. I, I would go even beyond perception that you guys have been kind of flat lately, mm -hmm. and I think that entails kind of energy and, and bringing stuff. Do you feel that? And yeah, I mean, we had 37 points at halftime, so yeah. um, definitely flat. Uh, not executing a lot of turnovers. Um, we got to do a better job of. I mean, we start. If you think about how we started the game, we didn't start the game poorly. First quarter wasn't bad. Second quarter was terrible, and progressively, you know, dug ourselves in a hole to where we had to you know, fight from behind in the second half. So when you're climbing an uphill battle, it's tough. It takes a lot of energy, you know, being down 15, being down 20 in a game, trying to come back. It takes a lot of energy and effort, and, you know, trying to get over that hump is, is difficult. So you have to start games better and maintain a, maintain a competitive game throughout so that it's not a 20-point climb. Where do you think being flat stems from? I don't know. I try to play as hard as I can. I do the same stuff every day. I'm sure a lot of guys have similar routines to where uh, sometimes there's, there's no answer. I think a quick response to that from people is the pros. Why aren't they playing with energy? Why aren't they? I don't think energy is the issue. I think guys are playing hard. And I would equate it to, you know, everyone has different jobs, different careers, different professions to where sometimes it's just a bad day or it's just a bad couple of days. And you may be sick. You may have injuries. There's things that go on that you guys may not know about that could affect people. I don't know for sure. But some people have normal lives to where stuff happens and it comes up and it can affect your play. I'm not making excuses, but I just, I'm just saying like we are human, so sometimes things don't go well. So maybe the flat is a result of execution, not effort. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't think it's effort. I think guys are playing hard. And like I said earlier today, 
we're not losing games on purpose. No one wants to go lose at home in front of their, their families. There's people got kids and obviously the fans. No one wants to go lose on purpose. No one's going to go miss shots on purpose. Like if I shoot an air ball, it's not because I didn't try to make it. You know what I mean? Like it, it happens. It's unfortunate and we are professionals and we're held to a higher standard because we get paid a lot of money. But I mean, it, it, it is a job and at, at times the job can be difficult.